Welcome everyone, it is a beautiful day here at Tropicana Field, and we here at TUC Productions, that's totally unbiased commentary, is here to bring you the opening day of your Tampa Bay Devil Rays against the visiting Toronto Blue Jays. It is a great day at Tropicana Field, even though you can't see the sky because it's a dome. Mark Hendrickson on the hill, the starting pitcher for the your Devil Rays. And we are set to kick off the 2005 MLB season. Batting first for the Toronto Blue Jays is Reed Johnson. The manager for the Blue Jays apparently seems to not know something we all do, that Reed Johnson can't really hit. But yet he's using him as a leadoff man. Let's see if that works in their favor, which it probably won't. Oh, one pitch is a strike right on the lower corner of the strike zone. Oh, and two. The pitch is inside, and Reed Johnson holds up. We'll check down at first. I don't know about that. No, they, they say he got him out. Wow. What a great pitch by Hendrickson. And now it's 0 and 1 to start off Orlando Hudson. The 0 1 slider just outside. 1 and 1 on Hudson. Hendrickson, not a strikeout pitcher, but he starts off this season with a strikeout, so that's pretty surprising. Good for him. Good for the Devil Rays. And the controller has been disconnected. Just enough time to psych out Re uh, Orlando Hudson and. Hendrickson gets a strike out of it. And the 2-2 gets him. Another strikeout for Hendrickson. That's his second in two batters. What an unbelievable start for the Devil Rays. Coming up, Vernon Wells. A pretty overrated hitter, if you ask me. Wow, that one looked like a strike to me, but the umpire calls it a ball. And Hendrickson throws the changeup in there for a strike. 2-1 and one now on Wells. And here's the 2-1 pitch. Hit in the shallow left field. Lugo going back to get it, and he gets it with ease. A great start for the Devil Rays season. A 1-2-3 inning for Hendrickson and two strikeouts. On the mound for the Blue Jays, Roy Halliday. Pretty overrated pitcher. I mean, they say he got a perfect game the other night, but... It's real, the stats are kind of inflated when you think about it. I mean, a perfect game would be pitching one pitch every every at bat, so it's really not what you think. He starts off one and one against Carl Crawford, the leadoff hitter for the Devil Rays. A great leadoff hitter, great speed, great contact with the ball. He's got all the tools for a great leadoff hitter. But it's one and two for him now. Halliday with a one two. He throws that palm ball outside. It's two and two. That palm ball is such a cheap pitch. And he gets him with the fastball. Strikeout for Halliday. Both pitchers starting their opening day with a strikeout. Up next to bat is Julio Lugo. Takes the cutter down low. It's two and zero. Oh. Halliday sets and throws, and it's hit in the foul territory, but the first baseman, Koski, should be able to get it. Rather Hill and Brand. I don't know their names. They change their ro rosters every year, and it really doesn't matter who their first baseman is. All you need to know is Aubrey Huff, the first baseman for the Rays, is up to bat right now. And he swings early at that curveball. It's 0-2 now. Halliday sets and throws. Here's the pitch. And he swings and misses. I guess it was a pretty good pitch by Halliday. And Koski hits this one in the shallow center field. Baldelli right there to get it. And a quick out for Hendrickson. Another great start to this inning. That'll bring up Shea Hillenbrand who takes the first pitch high for a ball. Even though I think that was a strike. Maybe the umpire's going a little easy on the Blue Jays. And that one's hitting the left field. Crawford dives and he makes the save. The catch rather. Carl Crawford, what a play. Diving, making that catch. You don't see anybody else doing that in this league. 
And that one's hitting the infield. Lugo throws to Huff, and he gets him just in the nick of time. But, of course, the Devil Rays will do that most of the time this season. A quick inning for Hendrickson. Only four or five pitches needed. And Jeremy Burnitz will bat first for the Devil Rays, and he takes the first pitch high for a strike. Swing. 0-1. And the curveball misses high. It's now 1-1 one one on Burnett's. Burnett signed in the offseason. There's a big power bat the Devil Rays need, and he hits this one into left field for a base hit. First base hit of the game for either team. That'll bring up Rocco Baldelli, who's laying down the bunt. They're playing small ball. He bunts it. Halliday throws to first, but it advances the runner to second. Very smart move by the manager of the Del Rays, Aruka Sensei. Victor Martinez also acquired in the offseason for a trade. And that one's hit the second base. He throws him out, but Burnitz moves over to third. So now a runner in scoring position with Danny Bautista, who's a great contact hitter at bat. Hopefully the Devil Rays can get some runs here. It'd be nice to see them get a run against the Blue Jays who can't really protect a lead that well and they can't it's hard for them to come back once they're down so it'd be a great way for the Rays to get to a good start in the season but that one's hit in the left field by Bautista and it's caught by Reed Johnson and that'll end the inning and next up the bat will be Alex Rios for the Blue Jays he takes that great pitch by Hendrickson for a strike Hendrickson sets and throws. The changeup misses just outside, one and one. Rios not a very good hitter. Let's see what, how Hendrickson fares against him. That one's hit foul just past third base. Hendrickson with a pitch, and that one's fouled off once again. So they'll reset it. Still one and two on Alex Rios. And here comes the pitch from Hendrickson. Swing and a miss. He got him on strikes. That'll bring up the shortstop, Russ Adams, who's terrible against left-handed pitchers. Hendrickson starting off outside, but he missed the strike zone. 1-0. and oh. and Here's the next pitch. Popped up in the shallow center, or the infield, rather, and Mark McLemore gets it. And two down. Hendrickson just breezing right through this shaky Blue Jays lineup. That'll bring up the catcher, Guillermo Quiroz, who takes the first pitch for a strike. Swinging at the second one, and he fouls it behind the plate. 0-2 now. What a great job by Hendrickson for the first couple innings. That's exactly what the Devil Rays need. Great pitching. And that one is thrown for a strike. See you later, Kiros. Jorge Cantu will lead off for the Rays. He starts off by swinging at the first pitch and hits it foul. 0-1. Roy Halladay not looking very good in this first couple innings. Definitely not as good as Hendrickson, that's for sure. Definitely not on the same level. Hendrickson is just way better than Halladay so far. 1-2 and two now on uh, Jorge Cantu. Here's the next pitch. Cantu swings and hits him in the shallow right field. Rios coming over and luckily makes the catch. Rios, not a great outfielder. Not known for his glove, but he'll make the catch. I'll bring up Mark McLemore, the switch hitting batter in the ninth spot. Takes that pitch for a strike. One and one. Elday sets and throws. And swings, and it's a base hit up the middle. Great job shortening up the bat by McLemore. And he gets the first easily. That'll bring up Carl Crawford, a dangerous spot for Halliday. 